Hey, it's Tim here. And in 2020.3, Tableau have added the ability to have roles granted to users when they sign in. Now, in order to do this, they have to first be part of a group with this feature enabled. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. You can see here, I have two users on my test instance of Tableau Online. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to head to groups and you can see here that I have a new group, coincidentally called new group. And if I click on that option, you'll see there's no member in the group at the moment. If I go to details, you'll see that I have this option here ticked for grant role on sign in for viewers. Okay, so you'll see that when they sign in, it's going to grant them the role of viewer. You can actually set this to another group, for example. So you can say when you uh, add someone to an admin group, they automatically get assigned an admin group, which is kind of useful now because you don't have to wait uh, to go and manually change someone's role inside of Tableau Online through a typical sort of, I don't know, support desk system. So the other thing I need to do to show you this feature is show you what happens if I try and log in at the moment. If I go to my users, um, you'll see here that I just have the two users. One is unlicensed at the moment, okay? So if I try and log in as this user, let's just head over to my other tab here. I'm in an incognito window. I've already got my username and password uh, signed up. If I try and sign in, it will work, the sign-in will work, but you will see here that I'm unable to sign in. So this isn't a failure, my password isn't correct. I just don't have a license. And so in order to fix this, we need to go back and assign me to a group. Now, previously the admin would have to assign me a role, but all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assign this user to a specific group. So I'm gonna add them to the new group. I'm gonna hit save. And when I assign them to that, you'll see that this still says unlicensed, okay? But now when I try and log in, this should change. So let's go back to the other tab. Let's try again. And we're just gonna go ahead and um, type this out. So I'm gonna type in my email. Uh, I missed the at sign here, so let's just do that. And uh, I use LastPass for my password, so I don't have to remember every single one of them. So let's just select the right one there, sign in. And this time, what it's actually doing is assigning me a role, and then now I'm actually able to go through and sign in. And the cool thing here is if I then go back to my other window and refresh this page, you'll see that my uh, site role over here has changed. So let me just refresh that and let me highlight that change right here. So there you go, you can see I am now a viewer. So just by being assigned to the group and logging in, I'm automatically assigned a role and I'm able to breeze right through. And that means my first experience isn't some sort of denial uh, of access, if that makes sense. If I have the rights to be on the server and I'm licensed up correctly, I should just breeze right through. So this is a really nice feature. It's a really nice thing to be aware of if you're an admin. It can make your life a little bit easier. I can see uh, lots of people creating lots of new groups now for these roles and then automatically assigning people to these roles. And of course, this works with things like Active Directory. So you can actually sync up users to Active Directory groups on a schedule. And then this can automatically assign them roles. So when you have, let's say, a server admin come into the organization, you add them through the necessary request process and they automatically get assigned a role based on that group, just making the life a little bit easier. That's pretty much the feature in 2020.3. If you've enjoyed this video, why not subscribe to the account? Check out some of the other features in this playlist. And by all means, let us know what kind of content you'd like to see in the comments below.